Okay, y'all. Right here, I got some of those shelf setters. I guess that's what they're called. I don't know. Shelf. Shelf setters. Anyway. And um, I'm going to... It's going to take two of them. And that first one, I'm going to measure down. I'm going to cut it in half. <laughs> I forgot how long it was, y'all. I'm sure I wrote it down. Just give me a minute and I'll be with you. But it's one of the really long ones from the Dollar Tree. And anyway... I'm going to take another one, and I'm going to cut it a little bit longer than, <laughs> than the in half one. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It's already started, ain't it? Um, I might have to go measure it. Look what I did now. You're supposed to bolt those down to your table, and I can't do that because I can't have it in my way all the time. So I duct taped it down so it wouldn't slide all over the place because I was just cutting and cutting and cutting. And, oh, no, maybe I didn't. Uh, write it down. I think that those were 12 inches, honestly, and I think the other ones were, um, 10, and I cut, no, 8, and I cut them at a 45 degree angle on my little miter box there. You see it? I cut, um, all four of them, because I'm going to use four of them. And here I wanted to show you, my, t my paper on that came off real easy, and, um, and it's got that white paper underneath, but mine was a little bit flaky, so... What I did was took a, the wet wipes that I use, you know, I sanded it down first. Of course, the paper wasn't going to come off that way because life is just not that good sometimes. But anyway, um, but yeah, I'm going to have y'all watch me sand it 48 times. But anyway, I took that wet wipe and um, look, I just wiped that on there. And when it started, and I got it good and damp, not wet, damp, and when it started drying just a tad, you could take your scraper of any sort, and that paper came right off. And I thought, well, I just got lucky on this one. It did it on every one on every side. There's little bits of paper left, and I just sand them down. So right here, I'm going to take the two tallest ones and take hot glue and wood glue and stick them together. Y'all see what I'm building here. Some of y'all know that was on my live. Um, anyway... And then take the shorter ones with hot glue and wood glue. And I always wanted one of these little churches. And I was like, how can I do it where everybody can make one? Anyway, put too much wood glue right there. Um, anyway, and after I get it all together, I'm going to take Waverly White Chalk Paint. And I'm going to paint my little church. Now, I'm not going to give it full coats. I'm just swiping up and down to make it look rustic and make sure you get the edges and the back. I painted the back also. So right here, I got those jumbo craft sticks from the Walmart, and I'm going to cut it in half. Oh, no. Here I go. I'm telling you. I can't believe I didn't write that down. Um, if y'all want to know, let me know, and I'll um, go down there and try to measure it right and put the sizes in the description box. Anyway, so in my, my jumbo craft sticks right here, I'm just doing... Um, I want to do like the um, the arch um, doors and windows here in it. So after I cut that off there, I was having a devil of time because my little trimmers from Dollar Tree here broke. The spring broke in them and they just ain't working no more. And now I can't find them, of course. That's just how it works. They were everywhere. But I was like, I got a pair. I'm fine. Well, I'm not fine. I don't got a pair no more. Anyway, so I just traced that one with the other and cut that off there. And sand it down when you're done. And see, I forget to add these steps. And, and, and it was brought to my attention. I'm like, I really need to do this because everybody's not crafted. But anyway, but I just talk and talk so it don't matter. Anyway, so I put um, Waverly Antique Wax on it. And I wiped it down with paper towel because otherwise it takes that stuff forever and a day to dry. And you guys know this. So anyway, and then when I got my little cross that little laser cut cross one of them. Um, I was like, oh, I put antique wax on it, but I was like, that's a good bit darker. So I did another layer of antique wax on my door to make my doors darker. And I do the same thing with my little windows. And I don't know why I haven't gotten to that yet, but I'm sure I am. All right. I had a devil of time trying to figure out where I was going to put my cross. Maybe I shouldn't use those two words in the same sentence, but I did. Forgot to do the little sides of my doors. So there you go. Oh, guys, this is so cute. I love it. Um, I have hardly no decorations in my living room now. I've got a key holder and a sign I made a long time ago last year at Valentine's Day. And all this stuff here is going in my living room. Yeah. 
So this is the colors that I like and what I like to decorate with. So anyway, um, I did the same thing. My little windows there, just drew a little arch cathedral windows and cut one and then just traced it onto the other one and I'm gonna cut it out and that way they can match the best they can. It's not gonna be perfect. Nothing's perfect, but you know, make sure you send it down real good because mm, that can be sharp. Do the same thing with the wax. Wax on, wax off. Anyway. Oh, goodness, got choked. And it's real easy to make sure you get your doors and windows on there straight, y'all. Because all you got to do is put one on each side of that board right down the middle. It lines up perfect because you got the two doors. And then the other, the little windows go right in the center of the other boards that's left out there. You see what I mean? Look what I do here in a minute, of course. Y'all know I can do some mess and... I always do. I think, um, let me, well, right here. I was like, man, I got those windows on there and did not drop them at all because I have butter fingers. Well, drop every time. It never fails. So, if this ever happens to you, <laughs> like it happens to me, first I wiped it, tried to cool off the glue because I didn't want to burn myself, and then some of it picked off, and I'm like, yeah, good. Well, what didn't pick off, just take your heat tool or hair dryer or whatever, melt that glue, and then scrape it off with your scraper. Of course, with that antique wax, it's going to leave a mark because it pulls that wax right up off there. And I just put some more wax right over it and glued it on. I'm taking my little cross, glued it on there, and there it is. Isn't it adorable? I love this thing, you guys. I absolutely love it. And it's good, and it's sturdy, and it's thick. Oh, well, we're moving on here. So, anyway... I got those tomato steaks from the Dollar General for a dollar a piece, you guys. And I I think, uh, yeah, I, I, sh I tell you these measurements for sure. But I think I measured it 26 inches. But I messed up because I should have measured it longer. But y'all see, I wrote it down there. Anyway, and because... I'll tell you why. I'll explain mine here in a little bit. But it should have been about two inches longer. And how I messed that up is beyond me. I have no clue. I'm telling you. I should. I, I'm, I don't even know. Good gravy. I could. I could mix Cheerios at a Fruit Loop factory somehow. I could just really do some mess. But anyway. And then I cut my other pieces. And I believe I cut them 18 inches. I, I show it all to you here in a minute. I, I thought I did. Oh, no. Um, and you got to put them all on the inside. That way you can cut them all the same length. You see what I'm saying? So, here, I'm going to take just wood glue for now. And if you guys got the um, uh, staplers, the like heavy-duty staplers, um, not office staplers, most of them you can fit little tiny brad nails in and shoot brads. Mine does. But um, I'm taking my airstrike pressure nail gun and just gonna shoot some brads in the end of that only because I'm being lazy and I'm trying to work fast so anyway and then I'm gonna measure out there I measured down the middle to find the center and then I got to find the center of my boards and here I've got to see how long I'm gonna cut it because if I just did a measurement to try to cut them I would mess it up so I'm just gonna use my square there lay it down there and make my line even with the um middle board there you see what I'm talking about because seriously, if I tried to measure it, I can't do it. Anyway, and somehow one ended up being the smidge shorter than the other. Because again, but I'm just going to put the um, wood glue <clears throat> on those and shoot a bright in that. And then, um, then what? And then, and then I'm going to flip it to the other side. And that one I couldn't shoot a bright in. So it's just got wood glue on it. But here in a minute, I put a staple through it. One of them big old staples through it on the back to make sure it stays real good. <laughs> you guys are like, what is even going on? What's she making? Look, it's so, it's big. So I had to set it in the floor just to make sure I got the staple, the whatever, the nails in it. And I'm taking home decor, folk art, antique wax, and I, and I waxed the whole thing. <laughs> 
I don't know why that made me laugh. And then I'm going to stand it down like um, I wiped it down. But that stuff is really dark. It's darker than the Waverly. But I, again, I'm short on that. And they don't sell Waverly at my Walmart or nothing anymore, y'all. So I did order a bunch of um, a bunch of chalk paint. I, I can't find anything. First, I was going to distress that and give it like um, the mix. You know what I mean? And I, I finished the whole thing. And here I'm taking chicken wire and putting it on the back. And I'm stapling my chicken wire down real good. And I must have put a thousand staples in, the, staples in the thing. Oh, goodness. But make sure you pull your chicken wire real tight. And I'm telling you, it's a mess cutting that stuff off and getting it on there and cutting it off. My husband bought that for me from the Home Depot. And um, good gravy. That stuff, I like never got it depart Anyway, but yeah, pull it real tight when you're stapling and that staple on and that see look man i'm putting the staples in it and then i can't find my hammer got four of them they're all down my daughter's house but i took my pliers and pounded them staples in real good but i did staple all them joints there in the back also i know they got brads in it but they got the you see them things those scuff pads and stuff you can put them on the bottom of things and not scratch up your um shelves and counters and stuff like that well they had long skinny ones in there so i put four um North, south, east, west on on my little window thing. And then, mm, not only did I put them on there, I hot glued them on there too. Because um, I don't trust the sticky. But I didn't want any pokes to go in my walls whatsoever. And here it is. Isn't that adorable? Oh, I put one of them little hooks on it from the Dollar Tree. I painted it white because I'm going to hang things on that. And I'm going to put that in my living room. Yes, I am. That I found that last year for a dollar ninety one. Look at that. I love that. But I found that one this year for three twenty three, and they're like the same brand, but they're different. See, but they're they're pretty. But and then I got this. That's like a paper mache, almost wooden kind of um, vase, and that thing I love it. Anyway, don't know how much it was, but got it at the Goodwill too. So I'm going to paint them all in Waverly white chalk paint. Hmm. No wonder I don't have any more chalk paint. And then Jessie's going to try to help me paint. I don't know where she went. And then I'm going to take elephant chalk paint and Waverly white chalk paint and mix them together. And <clears throat> I want like a, a medium gray. And I'm out of mineral, so didn't have that to use. And steel don't look like that. So anyway, I'm going to take that little uh, stencil brush and make sure I get down in all them holes, them grooves and stuff. And then I gave everything two coats. Now, those white ones, I do a real thin coat. And then I did another real thin coat. Now, here, <laughs> I'm making a little thing, guys. So, <clears throat> I'm taking six tumbling tire blocks uh, glued side to side. And then I'm going to take two glued end to end. And then two more glued end to end. And stick. Oh, Y'all see what I'm doing. See? And I glued them sitting them upright. See that? And the other ones are laying flat down. Those are up on their side. I know y'all is going to laugh at me and be like, this is stupid, but I did this for a reason. I wanted that, that uh, used paper towel because I wanted that <clears throat> effect that you can get from it. But I didn't want to ball it up and it get all a mess. So I did it like that. So I put a paper towel on it, wrapped it around it. Hot glued my paper towel on. That way you just rip it off when you're done and use it again next time. And took that paint that I mixed together there. <clears throat> Excuse me. Woo. And um, look, I just dabbed it on my little flowers to try to bring my flowers out. And plus, I like the way the texture that uh, napkin gives on your stuff. So, yeah, that's what I did. Now, this one turned out really pretty. But the other one... You know, the one with the fat flowers? This one with the little tiny flowers turned out amazing. But the one with the fat flowers, not so much. But I did it to both of them. And now I'm taking that Waverly White Chalk Paint. And I'm painting them grooves that was in that vase um, with the White Chalk Paint. And I know when you go to Goodwills and stuff, y'all can't find the same things. And that's why I don't usually do thrift lifts for that exact reason. This stuff has been sitting in my house for a long time. And I want to use it. And I need to do something with it. So here we all were. And I think that delayed me too a lot on my video because I felt guilty. <laughs> so silly. I'm silly. Anyway, so I got that boxwood looking stuff. It just says greenery from the Dollar Tree. Threw that in there. But look at my pretty candlesticks. I love them. 
I do. Looky there, looky there. And then, I don't know why I showed you so. And there's my vase, and I think that is pretty. And I'm going to set them all three together. It's like a set. And I just love that. I do. <laughs> okay. I don't know what we're doing. Oh, there. I got those at Restore, and they are filthy, nasty, dirty. I've had those for two years. I had like eight sets of them, but I slowly got rid of them. And this one's an easy one, guys. I'm going to remove the hardware. That was the hardest part. And I'm going to send it down real good. Now, because I'm running, right, make sure if you sand it, you dust it off real good if you guys can get these. But where I'm running out of paint, I took a wee little tiny paintbrush and individually went in and painted those little slats. And I was only able to paint the front. Look at the back, how awful. But I'll get it later when I get more paint. And that's it. Those are done. I know. But I'm going to put them beside my picture frame. See, you're supposed to measure the picture your window the same size as your gut shutters. And I I thought I measured my shutters right and didn't. But anyway, here we go. That itchy um glitter, that tag here from Dollar Tree, gonna sand that glitter off best we can. And I'm gonna take elephant chalk paint by Waverly. And give it one coat. Now this this messed up on me too. Um my credit card expired in my Cricut design space. And I couldn't get it load up, so it didn't... Well, y'all, never mind. Anyway, I'm taking tape, and I'm just going to make lines on my sign. I didn't leave all of it in, and maybe I should have, but I did two thin white lines, a medium line, and a wide line. And then on the bottom, I did a medium and two small lines. Y'all see? Y'all see? <laughs> and I already... I didn't film it, so I'm so sorry. But I'm just using painter's tape there and making my lines. And I always start by putting a piece of tape right on the very edge so I can get my lines as straight as I can. Now I see it done there. And I'm taking that wall decal from the Dollar Tree. It says, be patient, be humble, be loving, be kind. I think. No, gentle, gentle. I keep wanting to add a kind and that ain't it. And <clears throat> I like never got that off there, you guys. And I'm going to put it in order that I don't even know. I was just so frustrated at this point. I was ready to throw it in the garbage because I could not get those things. And I didn't mean to show you how I could not get those on there. But anyway, got them down. And I'm going to take Mod Podge. Well, I started, I end up getting high gloss Mod Podge because y'all know how those wall decals can really shine sometimes. And I sponge brush and too much Mod Podge and I sucked it to it. <laughs> but anyway, it looks good in the end. Okay, so... I got ribbon there from Dollar Tree. I got two different kinds, but you just can't see it yet. But you'll be able to see it in a minute. And I just lined them up, one on top of the other. One's gray with little white uh, flower things on it. And the other's that gray and white one. And I'm just going to do an awareness type bow. Just, uh, you know, fold it over like the awareness ribbons. Take a piece of um, uh, cotton twine. And, and dovetail the ends, and I'm going to take the, the hanger that came with the sign and put six little beads on my hanger. Just going to reuse it. I don't know what I'm doing now, y'all. Anyway, and of course, put the hanger back in there because I wanted it to split down the middle. I didn't want beads all the way over. I should have made a longer hanger. That thing was short. And I got those lilacs from the Dollar Tree. How y'all doing? I love you all. I sure have missed you all. I really have. Anyway, and I put a lot of hot glue down. A lot of hot glue. And I'm going to glue them on there sideways right there like that. And I take two pieces of lamb's ear and going to glue them on there. Then I end up changing my mind and I use four pieces of lamb's ear. Because I take two more pieces of lilac. And what you're going to want to do is leave a little bit of that stem on there. So you can bend and shape that flower to go the way you want it to. Yeah. I'm trying to leave more details because I do skip a lot of stuff. And for new crafters, I, I know. And I shouldn't. And it's just habit for me and people. Y'all, some of y'all been crafting longer than I've been alive. And um, I found that out the other day. And uh, anyway, um, and some of y'all just started. So, you know, I have to try to make sure. Uh, yeah. So anyway, I glued my bow down. After gluing all my pretty flowers down, I put one of them solo wood flowers there in the middle of my little bow. 
take one of them little laser cut crosses from the Dollar Tree, glue it down in the little corner, and there we go. No, now, okay, I was asking about covering my back, so I take a uh, glue stick. That's Amber's glue stick, not a purple one, just a glue stick. Now, I did put hot glue right on the top of my sign here, and you should do it before you put all your embellishments on, but my Mod Podge wasn't dry yet. So, anyway, <clears throat> Gonna flip it over. Now, remember, you got that glue from that glue stick on there. So, I run some stripes, stripes, some lines of hot glue down, down the side of it. And I push down where that uh, glue stick is real good. And I smooth out that back. And then, that way, it don't bubble up and come up. And I take my craft knife, or exacto knife, whatever you want to call it. Cut around my paper. And there it is. And I think that turned out okay to give me fits in the very beginning. And I'm going to hang it there on my thing. I'm going to have my husband hang that stuff up for me. Um, okay, y'all. Here's my floating shelf. And probably y'all going to shut me off right here and be like, nope, can't do it. Um, I believe I measured those 12 inches. You don't want to do that. You want to measure those about 8 inches. Hear me. If you make one, listen to what I'm saying. And then those pieces there, I measured, I think, 8 inches. I'll show you here in a minute. But those need to be... <clears throat> About six inches. Yeah. Yeah. So those that are 12, you want to do about eight. And the ones that are eight, you want to do about six. And those that are four and a half, you're going to want to do about six on those two. I just had this stuff left over from making that um, window. window. So I was like, hmm, I saw its floating shelf. Thought it was absolutely cool. I don't know if I'll ever use it. I'll probably give it away. But... <laughs> I just wanted to show y'all because it's neat. Anyway, so you got it. I drilled pilot holes in all four of my little four and a half inch sticks because I'm going to take these little tiny eye hooks <clears throat> and screw it in there. I don't know. I might put it somewhere in my kitchen or something, my bathroom. Anyway, and I'm just using a screwdriver to get those eye hooks in there all the way. And I'm going to take uh, wood glue and glue my 12 inch piece to my eight inch piece. Well, two times I got to do that. One with each one. You, you see what I'm doing there. And then, uh, you file them down because those things are splintery. It's those tomato steaks. I don't know what I'm doing. I have no clue what I'm going to do. Oh, I'm measuring up, finding the center where I'm going to put my eye hooks. Now, when I put my eye hooks on, you see how they're both, the eye hooks in the same exact direction. You don't put them, I don't know why I cut that out, but you don't put them on the same spot on the base. You, yeah. And then, oh, then you take that three inch piece. You got to cut a three inch piece. I'm sorry, y'all. And that's about right. And I glued it to the top there. I know you're probably already lost because I'm lost. I'm like, what have I done? What am I doing? Anyway, <clears throat> excuse me. I'm so sorry. I originally put those out on the outside, outside, and I'm like, that ain't going to work. They got to go on the inside because you got to be able to make a shelf for the top of it, and you want balance. I end up having to go in and add another board um, in the front of that because my, my sticks there, my... <laughs> Hold on. I'm so sorry. I had to stop and laugh for like 10 minutes anyway. Whew. So, I don't even know where I'm at, what I'm doing. Hopefully, y'all can see what I'm doing. But I do take and um, shoot brads in it. Anyway, and I put um, wood filler in the cracks there. Whew. So, anyway, I put eye hate hooks on those little three-inch pieces. <laughs> and I got that chain there from the Dollar Tree. Good gravy. And I'm going to measure up my train. My train. My chain, I count up 26 where it needs to go. But y'all, if anybody ever, ever makes this, y'all ain't going to need that much of a chain. Mine is really, you have to balance it out good to where gravity ain't going to make the thing tumble down. But anyway, there's the extra stick I put in front of it. But I'm going to take all those chains and spray paint them in that uh, gray paint by Krylon. Uh, yeah, it's really pretty. Anyway, and see, there's where I'm at in the front piece and just... Uh, wood filler and all that jazz same as that and then uh, see oh what a mess and I'm going to paint them all in Waverly white chalk paint 
Oh, then I sand them down a bit, kind of scuff them up some. And I think my chain's painted there. I can't tell. And you can't really tell that much, can you? I think it just looked, thought it looked better gray. But you see where the hooks are on that one? And then, yeah, they because they got to hang one over top the other. Wait a minute, I'm going to get in here, get it all hooked up. Y'all, the other day when we was live and I couldn't get it hooked up, it's because I had it upside down. Yeah, there it is. Look at it. Whoop, whoop. See, and it won't go that way. That's why I was showing you. Because that's the way I put the chain. I don't know why it does it. I don't know. And I take one of those little boards from the Walmart and I paint it <laughs> in elephant gray. I shouldn't even put this in the video. And then I take a piece of that buffalo check paper I got from who we the Hobby Lobby. <laughs> and I just cut it with my paper cutter. I measured it out for that little board. I'm so sorry, y'all. I got tears rolling down my face. Whew. Anyway, put some Mod Podge down. Oh my goodness. This is probably the best part of the video. And put the paper on it and then rubbed it down real good. And then, y'all, when that dried, I just put another coat of Mod Podge on top of it. Whoo wee. And that's my shelf for my floating shelf. Oh my gravy. And there it is, y'all, look. That's cool, though. I mean, you you got to admit, even though I went through all that disaster and I'm my thing's too small now, my little shelf, that thing is really cool. Look at that. I love that. Y'all, here's everything. I love y'all. I'm telling you the truth. Y'all just make my day. I mean, y'all mean the world to me, and I love you from the bottom of my heart. My friend Lisa Marie from uh, Crafting My Best Life with Lisa Marie came visit me Friday. And um, if y'all go check out her channel, I'd appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Hugs, I love you. Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. I was going to totally walk out. I thought you were telling me. I know. <laughs> I'm Lisa Marie. Lisa, whatever. <laughs> Tell them your channel. Oh, crafting my best life with Lisa Marie. Where am I supposed to look? Because I don't know where your camera is. I'm sure is. I'm right at your face. I'm sure. Oh, lovely. Thank you. Thank you so much for that. I'm sure most y'all know Lisa Marie, but if you don't, go check out her channel. I'll put it in the description box. But Kathy Joe's the best. No. Yes. Stop. Yes. <laughs> Look at JC Jane. Y'all can't tell, but my face is back there. Her body is literally wrapped around my head. This dog gets on me and sleeps like this. I've been trying to get my <laughs> the video up for y'all so y'all can see it, but he's never around. Look how she sleeps. Isn't that crazy? I love y'all. Bye. Mwah.